Welcome back to Chimark Limo Software. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to enter a new reservation into Chimark Limo Software. You'll start off by clicking on Create New Booking in the top left corner of the screen when on Desktop. Then go ahead and click on New Customer or Returning Customer. If it's a returning customer, you can start entering information for that customer and it will populate results that might apply. For the purpose of this example, let's go ahead and just enter a new name. So we're going to call her Silly Sally. Sounds like a fun name. We're going to put in an email address here. We're going to put in a phone number and you can select the type of phone number. If it's selected as cellular, then you'll be able to send Twilio, which is the SMS uh, text messaging to that customer. Uh, if it is selected to uh, home or work, then the SMS messages will not apply. Uh, then you will go down to section two, passenger information. Is the customer also the passenger? By default, this will be selected as yes, as they typically are, but you can always select no and enter other information. Go ahead and select that this is a one-way trip. It's going to be an airport arrival. There's going to be four passengers. It's going to be for October 19th. We'll put that it is an 8.30 a.m. pickup. And we'll put that uh, the trip, for scheduling purposes, we'll put an hour. And uh, then we will put that this is a domestic, it's arrival, flight number AC 101. I'm going to turn this on, which is a toggle button that uh, puts a notation on the customer's booking saying that it is a one-way trip and rather than showing them that they are going booked from 8.30 to 9.30, as we kind of just want to hide that. So it'll only show that it's an 8.30 pickup and it's a direct transfer. I put that it's picking up at Vancouver International Airport and they are going to the Marriott Vancouver. So as you can see there, Google Maps, it shows that they're going from uh, Vancouver International to the Marriott. If I wanted to add, uh, put add reverse route, it would just take these addresses and flip them. So it makes it very easy for return trips. And then I will select this vehicle. Oh, I can see there is a conflict here. So I'm going to select a different vehicle as it has pointed out that there's conflict. Okay, no conflicts found, perfect. I can add in internal notes, driver notes, customer notes. Now down to billing, uh, I can select hourly, flat rate, package, distance or zone. For the purpose of this trip, or this example, I'm going to put in $100. And uh, I, as you can see here, there is a gratuity that has automatically applied, 15%. And I've set that up in the fees and discount section. Same with the tax. Now I can go ahead and click on save. So this trip is now entered into the system here. If I want to send off a customer confirmation, I can select email booking. And then I can also select email invoice. And there you are. Uh, we've gone ahead, created a trip, and send off cust customer confirmation and invoice in under three minutes. So it's a very quick process. Uh, I'm sure we probably could have gone even quicker with this. Uh, but all in all, uh, our system is meant to be intuitive and streamlined so you can make the most of your valuable time and save on administrative costs. <laughs>